Welcome to Hidden Treasures, where we tell stories of lost minds, lost treasures, and interesting mysteries. If you enjoyed this story, please hit the like button. If you enjoy stories like these, then please go ahead and subscribe and hit notifications so you know when the next video comes out. Today, we're telling the story of a lost gold mine in California, the Dutch Oven Mine. In 1894, Tom Schofield was a maintenance worker for the Santa Fe Railroad in San Bernardino County, California. He worked at the Dansby Water Station for the Santa Fe Railroad. The steam engines that they operated then needed plenty of water. They would burn coal and the coal would heat the water into steam inside a pressure chamber. They would open a valve that led into a cylinder with a piston. The pressure would push that piston back, moving the wheels, and then another valve would open, releasing the pressure. At the same time, the wheels would come back around from the motion of the train, pulling that piston back. The valve would open again, more pressure, and this cycle would just keep repeating, and that's what forced the train to move. The problem with this isn't the coal. The coal burns slowly and at a high temperature. It's very efficient and heats the water into steam. The problem is that you need a lot of water. So back then they had these watering stations set up along the tracks periodically so the engines could stop and they could fill up with water and then they would move on with the steam carrying the engine to the next place and then they would stop again and get more water. That's what the Dansby station was. It was one of these watering stations and Tom Schofield was in charge of making sure that all of the pipes and the valves and everything was operational and when the train rolled up he would fill up the water and then the train would go. These trains were on very strict schedules so they would show up, he would know when they were going to show up, they would show up on time or close to on time, he would fill them up and the next time they would leave. Sometimes he was busy, sometimes he would go days in between these trains coming. So he had to be the person, he had to be there, but in the meantime, he really didn't have much to do. So the Dansby station was right next to the Clipper Mountains, and Tom Schofield knew that gold had been found in these mountains. Since he had all of this time in between when the trains would arrive several days, he could go camping up in these mountains and he could look for gold. It was on one of these trips that Tom Schofield actually struck it rich, and he left a very detailed account of how he got to that location to strike it rich, even though, even with his own map, even with his own detailed account, he was unable to, after the fact, find the place again. As he told it, Tom Schofield found an old stone abandoned house. He went past the house a few miles after that, and he found, he came to a stream. On the other side of the stream, there was a trail. So he got on the trail, followed that for a few more miles up, up to the top of a mountain and through a pass. This pass was narrow and this was basically the only way in or out. And in this pass, he actually found a boulder that was broken in two. So he went through the boulder and on the other side of the boulder was a clearing. And in this clearing, he found an old camp. So when you walked into this clearing where the camp was, um, there was some old pottery, there was some, some bones from, from dead mules, and there were walls all around. So the only way in or out was through that broken boulder and through that passageway. So as he explored the area, he found bedrolls and pots and pans and, you know, just general things that looked like people had been camping there. When he was looking, he also find, found a mine shaft that went down and he was able to pull out several small gold nuggets and some gold dust. And he knew that this mine shaft was going to lead to a, a major gold find. So he made camp, went to sleep. The next morning he got up, he started looking around, he packed up and he was ready to leave when he tripped over an iron Dutch oven. When he tripped over this Dutch oven, it fell over, it opened up and a bunch of gold nuggets fell out. Apparently Tom couldn't handle his money very well. He grabbed all of these, uh, these, these gold nuggets he bought a train ticket to Los Angeles. He went to Los Angeles, he cashed them all in, and he partied for several months, blowing all of the money that he got from this gold. But he thought that was okay because he knew where this mine was and he was gonna be able to go back and he was gonna be able to get more. The problem was when he went back, he couldn't find the stone house, he couldn't find the stream, he couldn't find the passageway, couldn't find the boulder, and he couldn't find the mine. So Tom Schofield, found this abandoned gold mine in the Clipper Mountains where he actually found gold. He went, he blew it all, he came back, couldn't find it again, and to this day, 
No one has reported finding it yet. Although, there are plenty of mines, if you look at this map, in the Clipper Mountains where people today are mining gold. My guess is that one of these mines is actually the Dutch Oven Mine. It may not be the entrance that, that Tom Schofield found, but they are clearly mining this area. They are pulling out gold, and uh, my guess is that, that no one's going to be able to go up there and find this, but who knows. It's at least a story that gives people hope that they can go out and find their own gold mine. If you enjoyed today's story, don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.